the Tooth Fairy. There are some stories that are so old and so powerful that even though nobody knows when they happened or even whether they really happened at all, they still live on generation after generation as legends, which the entire world lives by. Here is one such legend. All of us have heard of the Tooth Fairy. Whenever a child loses his first tooth, the fairy arrives at night when the child is fast asleep. Ever wondered how this fairy, who takes the clean fallen tooth of children all over the world, came to be? Here is her legend. The legend of the Tooth Fairy. This is the story of a time when there were no stars in the sky. All the vast sky held was the sun and the moon, and the story began in the land of fairies. We all think that their lives are full of magic, and they need not make an effort to learn anything. Ah, but that's not true, you know. Fairies, too, have to go to school to learn how to use their magic. And it is not always easy. Hilda! Oops! Sorry, so sorry, so, so, so sorry. I'll, I, I'll clean it up. Forget it. <laughs> I'll do it. Hilda, come here. Try and give shape to this little flower. Uh, well, oops, uh, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> All right, Hilda, just turn it into something, will you? Uh, uh, a diamond? Anything but this, please. Really, Hilda? Nobody can turn things to other things as well as you do. And you are a sparkler. Sparkler? What is that? The glow and shine that you can give to anything nobody else in Fairyland can. You are a natural sparkler. Hey, Hilda! The sun wants a bit of a touch-up this morning. Come on out here. Give it a little more glow. <gasps> You're asking me to give more glow to the sun? Sure! Coming! So Hilda was good at just one thing, to give shine and glitter to the sky. Fairies have a graduation day, on which they get their various duties based on what they are good at. That day, Hilda woke up early to a beautiful, thrilling dawn. She was excited because that was the day when she would be given her role in the world. She couldn't wait to reach the graduation hall. She got dressed and off she flew in the gorgeous expanse of the sky. Oh, how she loved to fly! If she could, she would fly all over the world and never stop. As she felt the breeze on her face and had the beautiful feeling of her little wings flapping with the air currents. But suddenly, she heard a scream. My baby! My little child has fallen off the tree! He can't fly yet! Help! I've got him! Oh, you poor thing! How scared you are! Aww! You're safe now. Come, I'll take you back to your nest. Thank you, fairy. <coughs> You're unwell. Just the weather. Huh? 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 I'll be all right. <coughs> oh no! Poor you. Let me go and get the healer fairy. Don't worry, she will know exactly how to make you better. So Hilda flew off to Healer Fairy's little home and brought her to the bird. The Healer Fairy needed some dewdrops to prepare the medicine. Hilda quickly fetched the dewdrops for her from the sun to bring back a little more sunshine for the bird. 
you go. Have this and you shall feel better in no time. Thank you so much. Thank Hilda for fetching me here. Really, very fairy of you, Hilda. No problem. <gasps> Actually, big problem. I am going to be so late for my graduation. Bye. Take care. Hilda was indeed very late for her graduation. By the time she got there, all the jobs were gone. What? All the fairy jobs are gone? Then what will I do? We will eventually find something for you to do, Hilda. The only things I am good at are giving glitter and glow to things and to turn one thing into another. <gasps> shall, shall I turn the soil into gold? Oh, uh, no! We need the soil for trees and forests and flowers to grow. Oh, yes, sorry. Hmm. <gasps> shall I make everything glitter? Let's make the world dazzling! Oh, no! Too much sign is bad for the eyes. Besides, who will see the beauty of colors if everything becomes all shiny and glittery? Hilda, my darling, breathe. Be patient. You're a sparkler, Hilda. Something will eventually sparkle for you. The role that is meant for you will find you. Oh, I am sorry. I am behaving so impatiently. You're right. I must have faith that something will sparkle for me. It turned out that Hilda couldn't find anything to do. Well, one would say she was free now and could fly for as long and wherever she wanted. But fun is fun only when it comes with a purpose. It was so painful for Hilda to see all the other fairies work while she had nothing to do. She became determined to travel into the world and find something for herself to do. As she was flying one night, she reached a palace and she heard a scream. Mother, look what happened! What is it, dear? My, my, my tooth, my tooth c came out. Oh, my poor dear. Come here, darling. Losing a tooth means you are growing up, you know. But, but I look so funny and I love my teeth. Oh, you look just as you should, my dear. All children lose their milk teeth when they grow older. Very, very soon, you shall have brand new teeth in the place of the old ones. Really? Ah, uh, yes. And your new teeth will be much stronger. This is nature's way of showing you you are growing up, you know. Oh, really? That is nice. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take the tooth and put it under your pillow? That way you might get glorious dreams of your growing up to be a big, strong girl. Well, okay. I like that. So the princess put the fallen tooth under her pillow and slept a little more happily. Hilda had been watching all this. She liked the idea of the tooth falling being nature's way of making children grow up and become stronger. But she couldn't help wonder... What in the world will happen to the teeth once they have fallen? And then suddenly, an idea struck her. What if, what if, I take the teeth 
and turn them into… <gasps> wow! That will make the sky look so beautiful! But wait! I can't just take the tooth! Does not belong to me! Suddenly, Hilda saw a leaf fall in the garden. Well… Oh, yes! Yes! Hilda flew to the leaf, turned it into a coin, and flew back to the princess's bed. I take your fallen tooth in return for this little treasure as a gift. And then Hilda did the most remarkable thing with the tooth. She turned it into a star and flung it high into the sky. Oh, the star looked pretty up there. Hilda got another idea. <gasps> what if, what if I take all the fallen teeth in return for treasure and turn them into glitter for the sky? Hurrah! Millions of children all over the world! I get to fly, I get to make the sky glow, and I have my very own job to do! Hurrah! And so, that was how she came to be. Hilda the Sparkler Fairy from Fairyland travels all over the world collecting fallen teeth in return for a little treasure and turns the teeth into stars. Hilda has been at it for so long that she is now simply called the Tooth Fairy. Her story just goes to show that if you are determined to find your place in the world, you will find it. By the way, make sure to brush your teeth well at least twice a day for she only takes teeth that are perfectly kept. <laughs>